in previous class i told you how to declare valency of radical and it was appreciated a lot by different students but many students but some of the students have doubt and they were feeling a little difficult to declare the valency of radical by that method and that's why i'm going to tell you another method of declaration of valency look at this all of we know that valency of sulfate is 2 but how let's talk about this let's say sulfate has got sulfur and 4 oxygen 1 2 3 and 4 now sulfur is atomic number we know 16 and that's why uh, first orbit holds 2 electron and second 8 and third orbit was 6 electron all together 16 but oxygen its atomic number is 8 that's why first orbit consists of 2 and second orbit consists of 6 6 plus 2 8 in the same way this also same there are four oxygen atoms in sulfate that's why I'm taking all this okay now we can think like this also uh, they, the element takes part in the chemical reaction to fulfill the number of electrons in the outermost cell of their atom. This is true for every normal element. And that's why uh, they form octet in the outermost cell. Octet means what? The condition of the element uh, having 8 electrons in the outermost cell. Maximum 8 electrons in the outermost cell. Uh, to fulfill its outermost cell is called octane. That's why oxygen, this oxygen atom takes two electrons from this. Now it formed octane. And this one also takes two electrons from this. Forms octane. And this one also forms two electron uh, takes two electrons from this. Now all six electrons are ele uh, are utilized. But it still it requires two electrons to get this. That's why the valency of sulfate is 2. It gains 2 electrons. Uh, uh, it requires 2 electrons to fulfill its outermost cell. So, valency of sulfate is 2. Since it requires electrons, that's why uh, in the chemical reaction, uh, its uh, condition is electronegative. Okay. Now, let's talk about another one, this carbonate. In case of carbonate, we have one carbon atom and three oxygen atoms. Carbon is atomic number is 6, that's why its electronic configuration is 2, 4, last orbit consists of 4. And in the same way, uh, oxygen previously, I told you, 2 and 6, and here also 2, 6, and here also 2, 6. Now look at this. This oxygen forms octet by gaining two electrons from this one. And again, this one also, this oxygen also gains two electrons from this carbon. Now, all the four are utilized. Now, still it requires two electrons. And that's why it's, a, it's a valency is, its valency is two. And since it gains electron in the chemical reaction, that's why uh, it, uh, it is electronegative. Okay, now nitrate. Let's talk about nitrate. Nitrate consists of nitrogen and oxygen. There are three oxygens. Nitrogen atomic number is 2 plus 5, 7. Its atomic number is 7, 2 and 5. Last orbit was 5. And oxygen has got 2 and 6. We know this. Previously I told and this oxygen also 2 and 6 and this one also 2 and 6. Now look at this. This oxygen gains 2 electrons from this nitrogen and it forms octet. Again it gains 2 electrons from this and it forms octet. But it gains only 1 electron from nitrogen and still 1 is needed. That's why its valency is 1. And it requires one electron, that's why it, it is electronegative. Now, in the same way, let's talk about uh, hydroxide. 
oxygen hydrogen oxygen is electronic configuration and is 2 and 6 atomic number 8 hydrogen it is it has only one electron that's why hydrogen gives one electron to this oxygen now there are altogether seven in the outermost cell to form octet is still one is missing so its valency is one and it requires one electron that's why it is electronegative now let's talk about this uh, ammonium nitrogen and it has four hydrogen atoms four hydrogen atoms and nitrogen electronic configuration two and fives altogether seven electrons are there and hydrogen has got only one electrons and all these hydrogen when gives electron to nitrogen look at this share electron to nitrogen then 5 plus 4 becomes 9 now 8 forms octet 1 is extra electron which it donate in the chemical reaction that's why its valency is 1 and since it donate electrons that's why it is electro positive this way also we can declare valency of radicals.